tervis siis kõikidele fännidele. Täna olen tegemas just väikes sellist õpetusvideot või siis, noh, tegelikult ma räägin ka, mis mul siin juhtus, aga aga võibolla ma räägin siin natukene inglis keeles, et ma tahan teha natukene sellise rohkem national video, et üle maailmselt inimesed saaksid aru. So, I'm gonna speak in English right now and I'm gonna teach you how to do one thing. If you can see behind me, I don't know if you can, but there is no TV anymore. And what happened is that I have a 52 inch Samsung TV and it started to switch on and off, on and off when I tried to turn it on. And eventually it just didn't even go on. Uh, before, like uh, three days ago, when I, I don't know, did everything I could uh, for like 30 minutes, then it uh, started to work and it worked fine until you like turned it off. So now I think I found the problem. Uh, so I didn't want to pay like uh, crazy money, like, uh, I don't know, 500 euro or 200 euro uh, for um, Samsung repair or whatever. Uh, I thought the uh, problem might be simple and uh, I think I have found it. So uh, let's go take a look into my next room where my TV is at and I will explain uh, what you can do to fix your Samsung TV uh, if it uh, starts to turn on and off uh, like crazy. So uh, without any pause I'm gonna go into my messy messy room and here is my TV uh, that is uh, taken already apart. It, it's really easy to take it apart. There's just screw holes, regular screw holes and uh, just open it up everywhere you can. Also you have to dismount the wall mount to take the lid off completely. So after you do that and take, take it off then you should see the, uh, how to say, the power supply unit here, it's as, uh, like a motherboard or something like this. Uh, and uh, you have to just take apart these uh, cables everywhere. It's really easy and uh, they pre pretty much uh, uh, stay there where you took it off so that you don't need to remember uh, where the cables went. And also there is not much cables as you can see. So let's move back into my other room. Uh, where I have the motherboard taken apart or not the motherboard, the power supply unit uh, it is right now here so as you can see uh, there is uh, like this part here uh, you can see hot and cold and the main part of the, problem the problematic part are these uh, uh, how do you say them, capacitors and uh, if you can see, if I can zoom in and I don't know if you can see that much, it's not that much, but uh, you can see that they are not fine. These two capacitors need to be replaced. Uh, perfect ones are here, it's flat and smooth, this is how it's supposed to be. But this has like uh, come upward from inside and that means they are faulty. My TV is like 3 years old and uh, worked most of the time 24-7. Uh, so uh, it's the, I can see where the problem comes. It uh, basically comes from overheating, but uh, after many many years it can overheat uh, or like uh, just give, give up its uh, potential power just like that also, uh, even without overheating, just with age. So, uh, when you look uh, closely on the capacitors, you can see uh, how many uh, volts it has and uh, what was the other one? Anyway, I have, um, it, it's microfarad, yeah, now I remember, <laughs> I don't remember it in English, uh, but I think it's in English the same name. Uh, now, I'm gonna take out these capacitors that I just bought. So, for my TV, uh, as you can see, it's 25 volts and 1000, uh, uh, yeah, what I just said. <laughs> so, uh, you need to get the, the exact same ones. And also keep in mind that uh, there is a negative and positive side. Uh, it's just re really easy to, uh, mm, to know which one is negative and positive. 
Uh, the negative side usually is a shorter uh, length bar here. Also the negative side has this uh, stripe or something on it. Uh, some capacitors even have minus sign on it. Uh, but uh, it's not always 100% that uh, this uh, always is negative. But 99% of the time this, this side is negative. So keep that in mind when you take apart these uh, capacitors here. So that the negative side is here. So when you replace this, uh, you will put it the exact same way there. So right now, I'm gonna take my trusty, uh, trusty iron. Uh, what's in English? I don't know. Sorry, guys. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna take a soldering iron. Yeah, I'm gonna take my soldering iron and uh, then just take these two apart here, and then I'm gonna show you how to solder it on. Uh, because it's a small thing how to do it uh, correctly and uh, good. Alright, now that I have set up my camera, uh, there's one small thing also uh, more to do there, maybe if you're not uh, so used to soldering. Uh, to mark the places uh, where you have to take apart the capacitors. So, because there's so many places you can actually, like, uh, by fault, just remove the wrong part. <laughs> So, as I can see here, it's this one, and this one here, and then this, and this. So it's really easy, I pretty much already know it, it's no brainer, but uh, you can, you don't have to do it, but uh, I like to do it, so I don't mess up anything. And uh, even if you look here, there's uh, a positive sign and a minus sign over here, so you know exactly how to put the capacitor there. Alright, now I have removed the two capacitors here and uh, now what I'll do is just uh, put them right through these holes and uh, if I don't have any, uh, any lead here, they should go right through here like that and then just push them right here like that and uh, add some soldering iron for yeah, and uh, just uh, put them in place, and that's pretty much it. Do, uh, do the same for both of them, and um, connect the motherboard to the TV, and hope for the best. Also one thing, don't forget to uh, clip off these uh, long wires here and uh, maybe even after you have soldered both of them together here then uh, just clean it with, uh, I don't know, some alcohol or like pure alcohol or like this white spirit <laughs> It's a, uh, I don't know if you can understand here or if it's in English written here uh, but anyway, it's uh, something you would clean like uh, paints or something like that, so it's uh, pretty hardcore stuff. <laughs> so you can put it there and just scrub all the excess uh, material off just in case. Alright, now I'm back at the uh, TV and I have put the power supply unit uh, inside the TV bracket here. Uh, I haven't screwed any screws in because I just want to test this thing out if it uh, actually works. So when I plug it in, it shouldn't like uh, disconnect itself like on and off, on and off, it should go just on and stay that way. So fingers crossed uh, that it would work. I will uh, connect the last cables here and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I have disconnected all the other cables. So let's see what happens. And voila! Works! If you can see, <laughs> uh, it doesn't switch off again, it stays on, the lights came on, everything working. This is how we do it!
no uh, expensive $200 repair. So I hope uh, you like this video and you get your DV fixed also. So now I'm gonna go back and try to install this cute TV on my wall. All right, so I'm back here uh, next to my TV on the wall again. Uh, these are the two uh, capacitors that uh, were faulty. I don't know what will I do them, but it will be a nice memory. So now uh, you can see, I don't know how good you can see from there, but uh, red light is just on and it's not uh, blinking or clicking anywhere, anything like that. And I can just turn it on here and no problem, I could use my PC once more and uh, do some more video reviews of uh, video games and stuff like that. So I can tell you how happy I am right now because I really don't have uh, enough money right now to spend on a high-end 55-inch uh, 3D TV. Uh, I'm gonna do that someday but not quite now. Anyway, so long story short, if you have problem with your TV, uh, maybe Samsung TV that uh, switches itself on and off uh, till infinity, then this is the problem and I hope you get your TV fixed like that.